everyone, my name is Reggie and welcome to my channel. Today I'm really excited to be sharing with you my TBR for February because it is my Feminist Let February TBR. If you're unaware, Jane over at It's Jane Lindsay does this annual reading project every year in February and it is to promote reading feminist books, which are some of my favorite and it's a great excuse to read all the feminist books in the month of February and I look forward to it every year. I have more books on this list than I can read in the month of February, especially considering it's the shortest month of the year. So while I also like to keep my TBRs ambitious and open in a way that I can pick a lot of books, pick and choose what I want to, I know I'm not going to get to all of these. So take this as a pseudo recommendations. Obviously I'm not recommending them to you because like I haven't read them yet. But these are books that are definitely well fit for the month of February if you're participating in Jane's Feminist Lit February. Also, if you are interested in me doing like a recommendations video for Feminist Lit February with books I have read, let me know because I would definitely be interested in doing that. There are optional challenges within the Feminist Lit February project and you can use those to like kind of guide your reading should you wish to. All of the books on my TBR will hit all of those challenges so I'm not going to go into them but I will link Jane's announcement video down below that has all of the challenges listed if you're interested in that and yes that is all. So let's get into all of the books I hope to read in February. It's so many. So one of my 2019 reading goals is to read two of the three following categories each month. They are nonfiction, a reread, or classic. So I'm hoping to read a nonfiction book this month, and that is Becoming by Michelle Obama. This is a memoir by Michelle Obama, and I am so upset I haven't read it yet, and I am going to rectify that this month. <laughs> the second of my 2019 goals category that I'd like to accomplish is to read a classic. So the classics I'm choosing between are either, I have two, The Bell Jar by Cynthia Plath, which is definitely a feminist classic. And then I'm also interested in reading Anne of Green Gables, which is like a children's classic. And I'm super interested and hopeful to read both. <laughs> of course, I only need to complete one of those two classics to complete my 2019 goal. But if I read both, I would be upset by it. <laughs> Another book that I'm going to put on my TBR, but I'm not actually going to read in February, but it's feminist, so I'm going to put it on anyways is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, which is my most anticipated release of the year. And this is a book about dragons and queens and kingdoms. And can I say queendoms? Because it's super feminist from what I've heard. And I'm so into that. But it comes out near the end of the month. So I'm definitely not going to be able to read this like 900 page book in like three days. But we're going to put it on the TBR anyway because I am going to read it at some point in February. I'm just probably not going to finish it in February. Next up on my TBR is The Sock Hill Girls by Claire Legrand. All I know about this book is that it's feminist and unique. And I'm not going to know more about it, but I know it's perfect TBR material for this month. Next up, is everyone ready for it? The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Hugo. This is the perfect month to read it. This is the perfect excuse to read it. And I'm finally going to do it. It's gonna happen. We've also got a book that actually has mixed reviews but I'm still very interested in reading and it's called Damsel. This is by Elena K. Arnold. So in this world a prince has to like slay a dragon and save a girl and this is the story of the damsel being in that like fairy tale mythology kind of story realizing that what's happening is not okay with it from what I've heard. I'm super interested in it. Next up, we have Girl Made of Stars by Ashley Herring Blake. This story follows our main character whose very close friend is accusing um, the, the main character's twin brother of rape. I've heard nothing but good things about this book. I really want to read this book. And like I said, to pretty much every book I've listed, this is the perfect month to do it. I've also got a big chunker of a book and that is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemison. This is a like futuristic sci-fi dystopian book that deals a lot with women and motherhood from what I've heard. Definitely sounds feminist. I've seen it on a lot of feminist lists and I'm so itching to get into this book. Next up we have The Disreputable History of Frankie Lloyd Banks which all I literally know about it is that Ela Lockhart wrote it and it's feminist and that's enough for me. Sorry I can't give you a proper summary of this book. The last book on my list for February is Midnight at the Electric by Jodi Lynn Anderson. This is one I will definitely get to on this list because I am buddy reading it with my friend Alyssa at Books and Paperback. So super excited to read this book. I've tried to read it before and I didn't put it down because I was bored. I put it down because I had to return it to the library. Never checked it out again. Solved that problem and will be reading it very shortly. And I'm very excited about it. So that's 11 books on my February TBR. 
let's see, there's 28 days in the month, so I would have to read a book like every other day. No, I'd have like 2.5 days per book, which is definitely not going to happen, especially with books like The Fifth Season and Becoming, which I think is a lot of pages. And Sawco Girls looks kind of big. So yeah, probably not going to get to all 11, but A Girl Can Dream and... These are all the books that I think are going to be great for Feminist Let February. If you're interested in joining Feminist Let February, I'll link Jane's original announcement video down below. Definitely let me know if you're planning on joining us this month and what you'll be reading in the comments down below because that's super fun. And also let me know if you would like a recommendation video of Feminist Let books that I recommend. Okay, that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you're notified when I post new videos because that happens every week on this channel. But that's it. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Have my phone in my hand. Proper goodbye.